What's up guys, video number two at this spot and we are talking about my favorite, very easy DIY. I wanted to say favorite sweatshirt, but it's also a DIY, it's really simple, how to make a super cozy, thick sweatshirt full of attitude. Uh, this is what I wear when I skate, when I drag myself to class, and it feels a lot heftier. The inside face of a normal hoodie, it isn't nice. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I prefer something starchier, something thicker, and this is a really quick DIY to create something that is like, let's say, like a Vetmont hoodie where they have the double layers, the sexual fantasy, something like that. And all you need is a sewing machine, two hoodies, and here we go. I have two Carhartt hoodies here, both size XL. I think I could have sized down to a large, uh, but these are really engulfing, really consuming, huge, which uh, maybe your taste and maybe isn't, whatever but I think this definitely looks good if it's big and possibly shorter too, but you definitely want it bigger. You do want to track down some workwear looking hoodie, if that makes sense. These with the paneling up here, with the faded wash, the way they fit, it looks a lot different than let's say a Champion or some other sportswear brand that looks a little bit more sporty. I have a black and then a brown hoodie on the inside, if you can see that. I don't even think I mentioned, this is reversible, gives you two different hoodies to tear up, uh, to wear out and whatnot. And here's how you do it. So the first thing I did was actually, I tossed these in the washer and the dryer just to potentially pre-shrink them in case they needed it. Um, I don't really know, honestly. And then also give them a bit of a fade or worn look. You could also sun bleach these, which I also want to make a DIY tutorial type video on that or you could even give them a very low concentration bleach to give them a washed look. Then I took an X-Acto knife, or you can take a seam ripper and take off the Carhartt logos that are on the sweatshirt pockets. This will make them a little bit more down to earth, not as busy, brandless. There you go. And now let's start on the sewing process. As far as the machine goes, you'll need, of course, black and brown stitching. I did brown underneath, it depends which is on the outside and which is on the inside for it. So it's easier to go through the machine, but just use your little brains and you'll figure it out like I did with mine. And now let's set up the hoodies. So I put brown on the inside for sewing just because I wanted to see how it would look and most likely I have black on the outside if I'm wearing this. So I turn the brown sweatshirt inside out and I push the sleeves into the black hoodie. Essentially, it creates a liner for the black hoodie out of the brown hoodie, where the exterior of the brown hoodie is now the liner of the black hoodie. Hope that makes sense to you. It should once you put it together. Just turn it inside out, put the sleeves into the other hoodie. You could do this with hoodies at home too, oh my goodness. I mean, that's really it. You can try it on. It'll fit like it's going to fit. You just have to sew it from there. So you'll need to check into your machine because mine had some issues with the height of the foot and I couldn't raise it any higher. Some machines you can, you just take off the back piece, unscrew what's holding the foot down. You'll need to check in yours particular if it can't handle this, but maybe it does. Mine didn't, so what I did was I pinned up the hoodie, found out that it couldn't fit under the foot and ended up just having to sew it about an inch in, if you can see this on the brown right here which is totally fine. Initially, I wanted to sew it right along the zipper so they stayed really close and you didn't get this space in the middle, but it really isn't too bad at all. It never really flaps open or anything like that, and it almost has this cool quilt-like look, if you will. So I pin it with the ends straight from one end of the zipper all the way up around the hood and then down the other side of the zipper so they are also in line. The whole time I'm about three fourths or an inch inside of the zipper. And then you can do that same thing for the wrists, which where are mine? Oh, it's inside out. You can do the same thing around the wrists and around the bottom of the hem, just above the elastic or something like that to keep those together as well. And that's that. It is such a sturdier, cozier, heftier, and also since I forgot to say it in the beginning, reversible, wearable hoodie. This is just so felt like and dainty and now really thick material, really heavy, and it's definitely, also I might as well say, gonna keep you a lot warmer, a lot, lot warmer. There you go, that is a 30 minute long DIY. Set up your sewing machine, pin the hoodies together, and there you go, you have a new sweatshirt, it's more wearable, stronger, bolder, 
Hey guys, just popping in here now because I was realizing that this is a fairly functionality based DIY. There are some stylistic differences when you are making these hoodies. You have that double zipper, the quilted look that I mentioned, and just the way the hoodies fit now that there's two of them, that super heavy material, which is awesome. But I wanted to mention some purely stylistic changes that you could apply here just as easy, if not easier, and you could also do it to so many different mediums, so many different items, in order to make something that's more your style, represents you, is probably cheaper than a high quality designer good, make something new, all of those things. And the first thing that comes to mind with these hoodies in particular would be some sort of hand embroidery or stitching using, let's say, a red contrast stitching. You can hand needle it, some crossing going on around the zipper, around some different seams, making it a lot grittier, a lot more aggressive. This is something that Undercover used years back and you can still go after it so, so easy. Purely embodies that punk DIY spirit. Alongside that, you can add pins, add studs, screen print. I mentioned earlier sun bleaching or giving these a little bit more of a worn look. I'd love to make a DIY regarding that. You could do some sewing alterations, make the hoodies shorter so they really have that wide, engulfing sort of look. It just goes on and on. You could remove the eyelets, change the string, change the pocket, whatever. There are so, so many options. This almost sounds like an advertisement right now of me popping in here because you should just do it. It's cheap. There's this beautiful synthesis between saving money and creating something that's for you, bringing something back to life, not spending a ton of money on designer wear, all of that and everywhere in between. So let me know if you guys have any other ideas down in the comments so myself and other commenters can go check out what you guys are recommending. And yeah, let's get back into the video, I guess. And that's it. Hopefully you guys liked hanging out today and checking out this DIY. I'll leave some links down in the description as far as the sweatshirts I used go and maybe some different options. But that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed and until the next video, everyone do me one last favor. Have a good day for me. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.